So this mission and boss are pretty hard, but kind of easy. Okay, so here's my build for Operation Wall Climber. I have the Pulse Blade. I have the Pulse Rifle. I have dual missiles. And I use this helmet specifically. Let's go and start up Operation Wall Climber. And let's start it up. Mission. Um, it looks like there's a lot of trees here. Kind of cool. I'm going to knock them all over. Hip snaps the... The coom. That's the thing in my high school, we all, we all dip snapped. When you make a noise, that, that was my brother, he was a dip snap. Alright, so in Operation Wall Climber, you have these wintry trees, you knock them all down. Essentially, you're gonna get a lot of rocket shot at you. Watch him shoot at me, I'm gonna press X to dodge. Take minimal damage. And you gotta get closer. Click on the left analog stick, and you're gonna tap X to get as close to this building as quickly as possible. So what you're going to want to do is avoid these rockets, look out for the rockets on top of this building, and you're going to want to get in this gorge as quickly as possible. There we go. So, you're going to shoot this dude with like your one pulse rifle. And what I like to do is, I'll use the vertical launch right here, specifically. And I would normally go on the crane, but I'm just going to go over here because I'll get shot if I go on the crane. So right next to this bridge, underneath all this castle architecture, uh, what you're going to do is you're going to boost up and you're going to shoot rockets to lower this dude's shield. And what you're going to do is you're going to hop up and get in super close and then hit him with the L2 twice. And then just boost away. I think you can hit him with it four times. I'm just boosting. That's pretty dope, right? I'm gonna hop up and L1 and R1 in, and then heal. And I'm just gonna L2 the other dude twice. Let me try to R1 and L1 in too, and then L2 him again. Nice, I destroyed both the artillery. And now I'm gonna circle around, because you need to keep as much health as you can for the boss fight. And you gotta make sure you don't use your pulse blade by mistake. So I'm going to hop up over here and try to approach from the right side near all these buildings. Because you have to be a little bit strategic because they have wall mounted turrets on the walls that rail up you from far. And there's a boss over here. So essentially you're going to coom over here. Up to the side to avoid the railgun. And get as close to the wall as possible so they can't rail you. Perfect. It looks like there's no other people over here. So you can begin you can't take the people out on the wall up here. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go over right next to this dude and you're gonna fight him. I'm just going to shoot him with R2, R1, and L1 as the two missiles. And then when he gets close, you can pulse blade him. Obviously, you could upgrade to a laser blade later on. And you could also get blades on your back later on as well. It looks like you could hop up on this vertical launch and take out the things on the wall. But I'll look at that after I fight him. Because I think he's the target. This looks mad, mad dope, dude. It looks like if you stay in the air... He won't be able to hit you as much. Because he's uh, really heavy on the bottom. So I could just like launch him with X and then press L2 twice. And then hit him with L1 and R1. And then back up and hover and press X. That worked pretty well. So yeah, this is definitely the right build for this boss. It's pretty simple. You just tap an A and X. A and X, that's all you really need to do. And you should be able to take him out. And then just close the gap. And press L2. Oh, he hit me. Let me heal up. Go ahead and hit him twice with L2. And then just A and X. Beat him. Nice, dude. Corporate scum. Boss Tetrapod MT eliminated. Nice, dude. I'm so cool. Like, for sure. 
So I have to access the bulkhead to break the wall. That's not the end of the mission. I have to penetrate the wall and reach the top. So I'm gonna use this vertical launch pad. Tap A. Take out these dudes on the wall. How dare you. Artillery destroyed. Tap A and X to slide a little bit faster. How dare they, dude. They're on my wall. This is my wall. Alright. So, let's press Y. Open up this gate. Check me out. You can enter photo mode. Start. And then select. So before, obviously... Here I was, standing next to the artillery that I couldn't figure out how to defeat. And it looked really cool, I think. Uh, so here I am standing next to the artillery from before, before I go in. It's like 20 seconds. Okay. That would look pretty cool too, right? So, let's run into here. I feel like I'm going into uh, the Evil Within 2 area. With, uh, like that really marbly, like the marble tunnel. That shit was mad cool, dude. I have that. I had that on my white Alienware PC, and it looked so clean. It looked like a brand new Tesla, or something, or something. I don't know. Something like that. This guy got a shield, so I'm gonna hit him with L2. He's got a rocket too. Or a shoddy. He's got a shoddy. I really don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> the guy used to always sit next to me and be like, I, I don't know. I don't know. The shit was mad funny, bro. That nigga was all over my wall. All over it. In it, on it, with it, out it. He was like trying to. I had this new type of water. It was called like, uh, what was it called? What's that like, that like seltzer water that isn't water? This is a kind of cool picture, right? What's that type of seltzer water? I, I saw a funny video for it on YouTube. Some dude's like drinking it and it's like raining. I have it in my meme section. I don't know why the, why does the robot look so, so mid? Here, dude. Did I like change my settings? My robot looks mid. Then it's not fine. Alright, so looks like the elevator's going up. Which is kind of fun. Alright, one more photo mode. Dude. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. One more photo mode. <sighs> like the green and the red. I look like. Sadly, my head's messed up. Dude, like, I don't know, dude. I got a cool picture before near the artillery, so I'm not worried about it. Let's skip this. I'm gonna have to edit that out, too. I don't know what's going on with the photo mode. So I'm reaching the top. They don't die. I just have to assume that everyone's trying to threaten you. 6 to 1. All the other pilots are dead. And it's actually hilarious because I play video games. Damn, dude. You must be Raven. Yo, he's on my team. One of the infamous handler Walter sounds. I have robot friends. Oh damn, dude! This guy looks evil. V I V Rusty. He said, "You ready to climb the wall?" Whoa! There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna tap X to get out of the way. The H A T 102 Juggernaut. His boss, obviously. What we're gonna want to do is first first overload. I recommend just shooting him because it's pretty easy to overload that yellow bar above him. 
Just keep tapping R2. And as long as your ally is still alive, it's pretty quick to overload him. Hit him with an L2 if you can. I'm gonna hit him with another L2. It looks good. I feel like I'm doing the, the Ocelot boss battle in Metal Gear. That was the coolest thing ever. We're watching uh, like a scorpion when Master Chief pops down. These are some incredible graphics, dude. So sadly, you run out of ammo a lot. So just going for the L2 again. When that stun meter stuns up again. Watch out, he does throw mines near him. So you can't stand near, but get as many melees as you can in on him. This is quite powerful. Probably gonna lose about three times. Um, yeah, see those red things he's throwing? Those are mines. Can't hit them. Trying to fill up his stun meter, but if you hit him from the front, it doesn't really fill up that yellow bar. Also, I think your ally does uh, perish. So, go up behind him, hit him in the back with L2. That seems to work a little bit better. Pretty sure, for sure. So, let's heal up again. Let's boost behind him, hit him with L2 in the back. It looks like you specifically have to hit the, the missile at this point. This Juggernaut boss is pretty fun. He looks pretty cool. That's a fun level, I think. Um, but personally, I'd rather be playing RuneScape. Uh, this is kind of cool. I don't understand all the... All like the flagrant the tank turning and stuff. And it's like Axel or whatever the thing's called. I feel like Sweet Tooth from Twisted Metal is trying to, trying to beat me up. can't hit him, dude. And I keep running out of ammo, so I need to hit him. It's like, very important that I do. It's so L2. There we go. I've eloded him. Damn, dude. That's yeah, kind of dumb, I think, personally. I, I don't understand. It's just dumb for the the sake of being dumb. Let's head it. That's the juggernaut. So when you hop to the side, I wouldn't recommend taking it. I hit my L2. I have to hit him in the missile, I think. With L2. Hit him again. Do as much damage as possible. Because if you hit him in the missile, it does the most damage. And you can fill up that yellow bar above the juggernaut boss. So your ally does. Uh, pass soon, so you're gonna want to melee as quickly and as much as possible initially. It seems, especially you see how I hit him there it didn't do a lot with the yellow bar, the stun meter. You're gonna want to hit him in the back, and not waste like too much ammo. Cause you will run out. All right, so L2, L2, hit him in the back. Look how much damage I just did. It was a lot. It was like half his health. So, let me heal up. I feel like I'm doing pretty well this time. I mean, he's throwing out red mines all over the floor. So, I'm a huge fan of uh, Ocelot in Metal Gear Solid 4. I was watching Outer Heaven play that on Twitch. He's insane at that game. Like I've been watching Ouroboros play this on Twitch as well. I'm pretty stoked with the, the Metal Gear Solid uh, remaster collection coming out, which I saw at that one gaming event. 
I forget exactly which one. There were so many. There was like Gamescom. There was the Nintendo Direct event. There was the Sony PlayStation event. The Xbox event. Um, There's too many events to keep up with. I actually have the Game Awards. Uh, I have quite a few of like all these different events. Like the videos and relevant game release announcements on my website, obviously. Which shows how to connect like classic consoles. Obviously, all the you could play all the classic games. Like the Xbox One has classic games. The PS4, all the games are free from there. On the PS5, you already bought them. On the PS4, I couldn't really transfer my save data over. From PS4 to PS5. I don't know why. It looks like if you hit the side gun, it does a little bit of damage too. So I'm slowly running out of ammo against this guy. And I can't get in close to hit him again. He's gonna bump me in the back. I'm gonna heal up. Yeah, so I stunned him again. I'm gonna hit him with L1, R1. From right here while my pulse blade goes back up in the missile. So this is like the final phase of the fight. Again, the L2 does not do damage to the front of him. This is a very pretty game, I think. I feel like they let you. I see a lot more of the pretty like, pretty parts of the game immediately. Like uh, Horizon Forbidden West and stuff, you have to really play along. I know God of War looked really cool. God of War 3 HD Remaster Collection on the PS5. I'm pretty stoked for that game. Um, Yeah, there's like so many newer games that are out, obviously. That really talk about classic games. I, I like the Juggernaut name though. It's kind of cool to me. Because of the Juggernauts in, in Call of Duty. I'm pretty sure they had like modern Juggernaut events, but they, had, they used to have like more Juggernaut events in the 2009 Spec Ops uh, co op missions and Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, the original one, in 2009. This yellow bar is hard to keep up here. It looks like the R2 and like the missile kind of does like a lot at this point. Quite a lot, see? Moving to orange from yellow. I'm running out of booster and he's running out of booster and he's throwing mines everywhere. So... This shit's kind of cool, obviously. Um, I don't really need an explanation to like fight this thing. But if you're playing like a lot of games, then maybe you do. But I really don't know, dude. Honestly. This would be a good edit. Alright, so L2. Looks like I beat him this time. And with another L2. Nice, dude. Victory. Alright, so I'm gonna enter photo mode real quick. A little bit late. See how this goes. Yeah, I failed. I can check it out again some other time. I feel like the artillery from before was kind of cool. Success. That pilot, Rusty. It seems he knew who you really are. I definitely got some good shots in the in the original. I assume. Hell yeah, dude. I've won. I could add that shit up too. That was a good edit. I enjoyed that.
one. We're war buddies now. I think I should tell you story. Nice, Operation Archibus was planning to Operation Wall. Uh, yo, uh, I'm war buddies with Rusty. That's so dope, dude. I hope I get invaded. That'd be so dope. 